Welcome back and behold, the largest Super Bowl countdown clock a newsroom has ever seen. Just three days until Super Bowl 53 when the LA Rams go to face off against the New England Patriots. You can watch all the action, as we've mentioned, right here on CBS 11. So, regards that, made any big bets on the big game? If you're planning on playing maybe in any workplace pools, you may want to be careful so you don't get in trouble. Ken Molestina here to explain some best practices when buying, let's say, a square on the big game. Super Bowl excitement clearly isn't just for the fans of the teams playing in the big game. There's enthusiasm for all kinds of Super Bowl related fun, and that includes quick workplace bets known as Super Bowl pools or squares. Yeah, they're fun. They're, I mean, they're entertaining if you like to spend a little money to make some. It goes around, I mean, barbershops, uh, workplace, everywhere. Essentially, you place your bet on a randomly arranged square that corresponds to a potential final score. But is this legal? Roggy Dunn is a Dallas lawyer. Office pool bets are legal as long as no one is taking a percentage or cut of what's bet. So All right, so now that we clarified that, the next thing you should ask is if your employer is okay with the game. What rules, if any, has the workplace established for these? Dr. James Quick from UT Arlington is a workplace ethicist whose research revolves around what is right and what is wrong behavior at work. He says if playing in the pool isn't against company policy, just make sure you're playing for fun and using common sense. $20 a square is one thing, uh, but $1,000 a square is another. So really calibrating and understanding uh, the consequences of what you're getting into uh, are important. Then he's got some advice for the bosses. Keep in mind there is a boundary, there is a difference. So as a boss, I wouldn't participate. Instead, he says, supervisors should be aware of what is happening in case a dispute arises and actions need to be taken. If it gets too big and occupies too much time, interferes with getting the work done, then that gets to be a different conversation. So if you're playing this year, good luck. I'm Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. Two takeaways there. First of all, $1,000 a square? Wow. Who's got that kind of bank? Second of all, <laughs> we're legal here. That's good. Experts say another great way to play the game is to reserve a portion of the payout to go to a charity. That's a great idea of the employees choosing. That, that would that be a is nice, a really good idea. Be a nice pass it down effect. I saw you listening quite intently there, Dougie. <laughs> Just got to check the box, make sure we're good. <laughs>